Hi everyone. In the series of industrial microbiology question and answer, in this video, we are going to discuss about one more question that is write in detail about alcohol fermentation in yeast and zymomonas. So first of all define the fermentation then we will go with the process of fermentation in yeast and zymomonas. How can we define the fermentation? The fermentation term is uh, having a different meaning and in this aspect of alcohol fermentation we can define the fermentation as a process in which organic compounds are going to serve as both the electron donor and electron acceptor and here this term fermentation was uh, defined by Mr. Pasteur and according to him fermentation is going to be uh, defined as a light in the absence of oxygen and there are so many other definitions in the food microbiology industry and all those things but here in the alcohol fermentation concept we are going to treat this fermentation as a process in which organic compounds are going to serve as both the electron donor and electron acceptor so based on the different types of uh, product form fermentation can be classified into different types such as we are going to have alcohol fermentation lactic acid propionic acid mixed acid fermentation butyric butanol and homoestrogenic fermentation etc so whatever the final product that we are getting depending on that we are going to have the different types of fermentation and in this video we are going to discuss especially the alcohol fermentation so let's go into the topic of alcohol fermentation alcohol fermentation uh, is also going to be called as ethanol fermentation which is uh, nothing but alcohol or production of ethanol and how can we define this alcohol fermentation? Alcohol fermentation can be defined as a biological process in which sugars such as glucose, fructose and sucrose are going to be converted into the cellular energy and thereby we are going to get the alcohol or ethanol. Along with this we are also going to get the carbon dioxide as a metabolic waste product. And this alcohol fermentation is going to be carried out by different microorganisms especially by the yeast which we call it as saccharomyces cerevisiae and related certain few bacteria also there which are able to produce the alcohol by fermentation those are zymomonas mobilis and pseudomonas saccharophilia and these microorganisms are going to ferment the hexose sugars such as glucose, fructose and sucrose to the ethanol and carbon dioxide. So here you can take any hexose sugar that is exposed carbohydrate which gives rise to the two molecules of ethanol and two molecules of carbon dioxide. And out of these two one is the yeast and another one the bacteria. The yeast is going to convert the hexose into ethanol that is a fermentation process is occurring through a process called as glycolytic pathway or glycolysis and whereas the bacteria zymomonas mobilis is uh, employing the enter diodrop pathway and giving rise to the ethanol so this we will discuss in detail now so before that just have a glance of uh, uses or significance of alcohol fermentation as we are discussing the industrial so we should know the significance of alcohol fermentation too the first one the alcohol fermentation or ethanol fermentation is responsible for the rising of bread duff so for making the bread we need the duff weight flour all those things and the fluffy nature of the bread is because of this fermentation that is being occurred by the yeast cells converting the sugar that are present in the flour is being converted into the 
concerned product and releasing the carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide is making it to be of a more fluffy and whatever the byproduct carbon dioxide that is occurring in the alcohol fermentation is directly being used in some baking industry for making the bread and biscuits and not only this the production of alcoholic beverages like uh, wine, beer, rum, vodka, all these are also going to be occurred because of this ethanol fermentation only. Then coming to the alcohol fermentation by yeast. So here is a picture how the yeast is performing of conversion of the glucose or hexose into the final product ethanol. So as we already discussed that uh, the yeast is going to convert the glucose into ethanol by the glycolytic pathway or glycolysis. And finally in the glycolysis, the final product is going to be the pyruvate. And from the pyruvate, in the presence of an enzyme called as pyruvate decarboxylase, is going to be reduced or the pyruvate is decarboxylated that means removal of the carbon dioxide is occurring so we call it as a decarboxylated and resulting in the formation of acetaldehyde. Now this acetaldehyde is getting reduced to ethanol by an enzyme called as alcohol dehydrogenase and this alcohol dehydrogenase during this process a hydrogen is going to be uh, turn out and we are going to get the NDA plus. So this NADH is going to act as an electron donor. Okay and finally you had your ethanol or alcohol. So you have to be very careful from writing the pyruvate to the ethanol because this is the main step. Once again after the pyruvate formed from the glucose in the presence of an enzyme called as pyruvate decarboxylase we are getting a acetaldehyde and the byproduct is carbon dioxide. Now this acetaldehyde in the presence of alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme, we are getting the ethanol and the NADH is going to act as an electron donor here. So that's all we have to write about the alcohol fermentation. From the pyruvate, you are going to get the ethanol in the presence of two main enzymes. One is the pyruvate decarboxylase and another one is the alcohol dehydrogenase. Then how this alcohol fermentation occurs in the bacteria called zymomonas. That we will see. So this you know very well. This is the overall glycolysis pro process that is EMP pathway. So from the glucose through the several steps you are going to get a pyruvate and from the pyruvate this is what going to happen. And here is the fermentation by bacteria process and as I told you that bacteria is going to use the ED pathway to convert the glucose into ethanol. So if you recollect the things you can remember this is all the ED pathway. And this zymomonas is a gram-negative rod-shaped bacteria that is bacillite. And this is going to carry out a vigorous fermentation of sugar to ethanol. And this is going to be mainly involved in the alcoholic fermentation of various plant saps. And this uh, zymomonas is going to place a occupy a position in the fermented beverage industries mainly in tropical areas of South and Central America, Africa and Asia. How the East is going to occupy a good position in North America and Europe like that the bacteria is occupying a good position in the tropical areas of South, Cent South and Central America, Africa and Asia. Although this zymomonas is going to be of uh, very rarely the sole organism in alcohol fermentation but this is going to become a dominant organism which is responsible for the production of most of the ethanol in the beverages. And as I already told you, this is going to follow the anti-diuretic pathway to give rise to the ethanol. Okay, so here you can see this is all the thing that is happening here. And from the pyruvate, in the presence of decarboxylase enzyme, 
this pyruvate is getting converted into acetaldehyde and the carbon dioxide and from the acetaldehyde the alcohol dehydrogenase gives rise to the ethanol so here from the pyruvate to acetaldehyde you are supposed to write the decarboxylase enzyme and here in this picture this is a ed pathway so where the kdp kdgp aldolase enzyme is there in splitting the one thing as a pyruvate directly and another one is aldehyde 3 phosphate which again enters into the glycolysis giving rise to pyruvate and this pyruvate in the presence of an enzyme decarboxylase enzyme gives rise to acetaldehyde and the carbon dioxide finally resulting in the formation of ethanol so this is all about the alcohol or ethanol fermentation that is being occurred by yeast as well as the zymomonas bacteria so we will uh, meet in uh, another video with another question thank you